In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, in you. To learn to do this, that is, to give thanks always and everywhere, you should stop thinking for a while. Greed and intellectualization weaken gratitude. When we always want something new all the time, we will not have time to be thankful. When we get something, we immediately want something else. We get it, then want another thing, and so on. We need to look back at the good that we already have. I have just met someone who had a fight with his wife. He married her after a big love story. He was very desperate to marry her, and he told me before that he wanted nothing in the world but to marry her. After three or four years of marriage, I found myself now reminding him of that, and I asked him, Why are you fighting with her now? Your fights now happen because you are not thankful. You were not thankful to God that he gave you the wife that you asked for, or the children that you wanted. These small fights have prevented you from the happiness that you always asked for. You have this happiness now, but you do not appreciate it. Why? Because you are greedy. You desire something else. Focus on what you have now that you once wished for. Why did you forget that what you have now was a wish that came true? The other thing is intellectualization. When someone starts to overthink and worry, he becomes afraid and cannot be thankful. Try to stop your thoughts for a while. That's why our Lord Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and revealed them to babes. Children don't think too much. They enjoy life more than we do. He who has a child's attitude gives thanks easily all the time and enjoys the little things. The adult, on the other hand, who thinks a lot, can't enjoy or be grateful, and he always looks for new things that he doesn't have.